Hi guys, Aaron from mapadaccountancy.com here and what I want to do today is I want to take something that can be seen as relatively complicated to students and turn it into something simple. So we're going to talk about the cost of capital, the weighted average cost of capital specifically and we're going to finish it all and give you an example within two minutes. So cost of capital, how does a company fund itself? It needs capital two main types. They've got debt and they've got equity. They can either issue shares to raise capital or they can get a loan or issue bonds. So debt or equity. So the cost of capital is going to be the cost of each of those things. So if it's equity, well you've got to pay dividends out on that. If it's debt, well you've got to pay interest on that. So that's the cost. Equity, dividends, debt, interest. So take a simple example. If your dividends are broadly 10% a year of your equity, the cost of that equity is 10%. If you've got a 5% loan, well then the cost of that debt is 5%. So our cost of equity will be the 10% dividends, the cost of the loan will be the 5% interest. How do we get the weighted average? Well, we need to know what proportion of our capital is debt and what proportion of the capital is equity. So let's say we've got 60% equity and 40% debt. Well, we've got to multiply the weighting, the 60% for equity, by the cost. And the cost, remember, was 10% for the dividends. So that will give us the weighted average for our equity, 60% times 10%, which is 6. The weighted average for our debt will be the weighting, which will be 40% because we had 60% equity, so we must have 40% debt. The cost of that debt, remember, was 5%, so 40% times 5 is going to be 2. So the weighted average cost will be those two added together. The equity was 6, so 60% times 10%, the debt was 2 because it was the 40% times 5%. Add them together and that's your weighted average cost of capital. 8 in that simple example. So keep it simple. Work out the cost. Work out the weighting. Multiply them together and add it up. And that's the weighted average cost of capital.